They're racing at the valley. That adrenaline rush. Mugger 2 is right behind. Certainly something you never forget. Stride for stride. To win such a big race, just fantastic. Mugger 2 fights. Mugger 2 for New South Wales. One more star mile three by a half. There you go. Good boy. Unfortunately, we'd like him to be still racing, but he had a couple of issues, so Good the boys boy. did the right thing by him. Good boy. I have a soft spot for retired horses. I have about 10 of them here. I put my hand up. The boys always find good homes for all their retired horses. you still like to be racing around, wouldn't you? In this place, it was an old Christmas tree farm before I got it. Slowly but surely, I'm trying to build it up and breed a few and retire a few. As you see him today, he's a happy horse. So they've both got a pretty good life here. They have, they have, yeah, yeah. Physically, he was a very nice horse. You know, he had a really good turn of foot, really good set of lungs on him, which certainly is a big attribute to have. He was a fast horse. He wasn't just an out-and-out -out staying horse. He, he, he could quicken and, and certainly was effective at 1,500 in a mile. That Canberra Cup was the day for me. It's a pretty good barometer whether they're going through their grades or whether they've reached their mark, and he was very dominant that day. From then on, it was just a case of setting the bar higher and whether he could climb over it. Mugger 2 stands well. We went in with good expectations. Unfortunately, we didn't have the best of luck in the run. It didn't go to plan. And they're racing. He just got caught in a, a tricky position throughout. He was just caught off the track, facing the breeze. And he still put himself in a contention on the corner. And mugger two around the outside. Give us something to cheer about and then probably just leveled out late to run a nice fourth. From that day forward, we knew we could compete. This horse could compete in any grade, at any level. The All-Star Mile. Mugger 2 wasn't voted in by the public. He had to rely on a wild card to get into the race. Once he made the field, we always thought he was going to be a live chance. Still a long way to go. Early in the day, the track was reasonably firm, which is not to his liking. It was literally a perfect storm. The, the rain come in, as predicted, just before the race. Really um, softened the ground for us, which was perfect. Big cheer from the crowd. I thought he's in the perfect position throughout. As they reach the 350, they run the corner. They were when you see on the point of the corner, you see two of the Australia's greatest ever jockeys, Damien Oliver and Hugh Bowman. It's like they had a look at each other and then they teed off together. It was um, really great theatre. Even though we were involved, it still looked a, a great spectacle seeing go head to head. Mugger 2 coming at Russian Camelot. It's as good a race and that you'll ever see. Stride for stride, Mugger 2 fights, Mugger 2 for New South Wales. I think that's why we're all involved in racing, to get that adrenaline you get when they punch you on a race like that, it's hard to describe. Next run he went and missed, and we tried to get him back, but it just wasn't going to be the right thing, so we retired him. He's um, now living a life of leisure, which he thoroughly deserves. He's uh, certainly a stable favourite amongst our stable. If you're going to be a horse and you could pick anyone to rehome you, it'd be Walter Power. And we're very fortunate to have him race a lot of horses with us, and Margaret says certainly got a great afterlife.